Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here? And what we have here, this follows when we have a raised to the power m minus n, the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. At this here, you can write this as 5 raised to the power x over 5 square, then equals to 30 on this side. At this yeah, this same thing as 5 raised to the power x over 5 square 5 times 5, that's 25. Then equals to here we have 30 over 1. And when we cross multiply here, 5 raised to the power x times 1, same thing as 5 raised to the power x, then equals to 30 times 25 here. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log. 5 raised to the power x equals to log 30 times 25 from here. The next step here we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, it is the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 5 equals to log 30 times 25. That is here, we divide both sides by log 5. Divide this side by log 5. Also divide this side by log 5. Which implies here, log 5 cancelled each other. We have x left, which is equals to log 30 times 25 over log 5. And also here, yeah, this follows from the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, we can rewrite this and we have x equals to log 30 plus log 25 then over 5. And next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 30 over log 5 plus log 25 over log 5. Then, also here, we can write 25 as 5 times 5, which is 5 squared. That is, here we have x equals to log 30 over log 5 plus log 5 squared over log 5. Then when we apply the all of logarithm here, 2 comes here, and what we have becomes x equals to log 30 over log 5 plus 2 log 5 over log 5. That this here, log 5 comes to each other. We have 2 left here. That is x now equals to log 30 over log 5 plus 2. Then from here, also we can write 30 as 5 times 6, which implies x now equals to log 5 times 6 over log 5 plus 2. Then here, this also follows the law of logarithm. And we have x now equals to log 5 plus log 6 over log 5 plus 2. And also we separate this into two fractions. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 6 over log 5 plus 2 
and here log 5 cancel each other we have one left which implied x equals to 1 plus 2 then plus log 6 over log 5 that is this becomes x equals to 3 plus log 6 over log 5 and here we can write 6 as well as 2 times 3 that is we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 3 over log 5 which implies this also follows the law of logarithm and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 3 over log 5 then from here we separate this into two fractions and this becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 5 plus log 3 over log 5 that is here we apply change of base when we have log a over log b this is same thing as log a to base b then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 so here we have the value of x in this problem as x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 then minus 2. Is it equals to 30 on this side? That is, here yeah, we have 3 minus 2, that is 1. You can write it as 5 raised to power 1 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5. Is it equals to 30 on this side? Then when we apply the law of indices here, from a raised to power m plus n, which can be written as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. Here we have 5 raised to power 1 times 5 raised to power log 2 is 5 times 5 raised to power log 3 base 5 is equals to 30 on this side. Okay. 5 raised to power 1, that's the same thing as 5 times. Here follows when we have a raised to power log b to base a. This is the same thing as b. But this here is the same thing as 2 times. 3 is equals to 30 on this side and 5 times 2 10 10 times 3 30 which is equals to 30 here that is the left hand side equals to the right hand side hence here to conclude that x equals to 3 plus log 2 base 5 plus log 3 base 5 satisfy this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now